decision made by the parliament in Kishinev, the Republic of Moldova, a former Soviet state with a predominantly Romanian-speaking population, is in a state of emergency until May 30th. The acting Prime Minister Aurel Chakoy decided to ask Parliament to declare a state of emergency because of the epidemiological situation triggered by the spread of the novel coronavirus. According to Radio Kishino, however, no concrete sanitary or economic measures have been established. Only more government prerogatives for the enforcement of special conditions regarding circulation, work and quarantine. The decision is about elections. Criticized by the parliamentary opposition, which claims the decision is actually about putting off snap parliamentary elections, the state of emergency bill was initiated by the socialist deputies headed by the former pro Russia president Igor Dodon and the Show Party, which the recently elected president Maya Sandu would like to see as less influential in parliament in order to be able to implement her pro-European plans. Deputy Mihai Bokshoi from the Action and Solidarity Party has stated, Two weeks ago, your leader, Mr. Dodon, said there were no grounds or need for declaring a state of emergency. What has changed since then? I have an answer to that. The conditions for dissolving Parliament. The only plan is to push this as far as possible or avoid early elections. In response, the socialist Vasile Boda has said, Sixty people died yesterday of COVID-19. This is what has changed. We could soon reach 100 deaths per day. As no elections may be held during the state of emergency, some pundits say that the party of socialists want to stall and have no problem using a social issue in order to reach their goal. The socialists say that they will not allow any snap elections in the time of pandemic and accuse the presidential administration of cynical actions, ready to put people's lives at risk for personal and party interests. On the other side, President Maya Sandu has recently notified the Constitutional Court about the fact that all legal conditions have been met for the dissolution of Parliament. Maya Sandu says that the legislative has twice failed to appoint a government and also that the current parliamentary majority favors corrupt parties and is not at all interested in finding solutions that would benefit the citizens. That was Radio News Reel. Time now for Heat of the Day on Radio Romania International. We invited a little... So this is Radio Romania. Uh, once again, testing out two radios, the uh, venerable Texan PL600 versus the uh, Texan PL990X, more modern receiver. Uh, both are receiving the signal very well. You could see the little harshness in the audio of the Texan PL600, which is a known uh, problem. And there is actually some mods online where you can modify uh, to make the audio better. And you could see that it sounds a little kind of uh, harsh and a little heavy, maybe a little distorted if you want. But still, you know, uh, in, in reception and receiving signals, it, it works well. Once again, both of them are on the same antenna. I'm using my multi-coupler, so both are actually using the MLA30 loop outdoors. And it's interesting to test out these two receivers. One thing to note, this one has the signal-to-noise ratio indicator this one has a bark indicator um honestly i don't look at this much and this is way overrated because it will show you full signal when a signal is actually not full signal so you can't really you know take a look at that and and, and see the signal level in a a true way honestly so you gotta listen to it but uh, kind of cool to test these two receivers so the texan pl600 I've had for seven or eight years at least, and uh, if not more, versus the Texan PL 990X that I uh, purchased last year. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool to check it out and check out the two uh, the two radios uh, on the same signal.
One of the interesting aspects also that I note actually on the receivers is that um, the Texan PL600 seems to overload a little easily. So now that I have the outdoor antenna uh, like the MLE30, it's something that you got to check for. Uh, it's easier to overload the 600 than it is the, to overload the 990X. Uh, so that's definitely something to, uh, to note. Uh, but you know they're not at the same price level at all. The uh, PL600 is half the price, even less than the uh, Texan PL990X, actually. So kind of cool to see these two receivers working, and of course more tests are going to come. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.